All right, folks, so I'm refilling a couple of my small propane tanks. And I know that I had done this in the past, but I figured that it had been a long time uh, since then. So for all of those of you who want to, you know, save a little bit of money, and uh, I can tell you, I mean, I'm going to show you how to do it. And I mean, this is my way, of course. You got to do you, remember, safety first and all of that good jazz. Uh, but, you know, Flame Keen is my preferred or the only one that I have found so far that allows you to refill the uh, one pound propane tanks. Um, they have it all over the place and Amazon. Um, I think maybe two years ago uh, they became a little scarce, but now they are back in the shelf and you can pick them up. I mean, truly, truly easy to do. So let me put the camera on and let me show you guys uh, how I do it and hopefully it will give you ideas. As mentioned before, this is a very simple way to fill up your one pound propane uh, containers. And uh, as you see on the left, I already got four fill. Uh, two are for my missile heater and two are for my torch. That means uh, the one that I use to light up my, my wood stove. So let me go over there and share with you how I do it. Now, these are the ones that I use for the uh, wood stove. Uh, essentially, you know, I use it because they're longer. These are brand new, by the way, have never been used. Uh, this is the torch that I use. Don't touch it right now because we are dealing with everything. I just want to show you how it looks. Now, each one of these does come with an Allen wrench, a very long one, and it does have a little, uh, hope, hopefully you guys can see, right here. This right here, you're going to open it, and you're going to hear a hiss. Now, you put it in here with the screw facing this way so you can have access to it fairly easy. Uh, you screw it, see, easy peasy. There you go. Now, obviously, I have been doing this already, so my propane tank is already open, so we don't have to go through that, that good stuff. But I just want to show you how easy this is to do. Now, Come over here, and we give a turn, or a quarter of a turn. You press the lever, and it's going to fill up. Let's, let's see how long it takes. I mean, obviously, you hear the air coming through here. It's air right now. You will definitely know when it's full because you're going to see gas shooting that way. And at that moment, all you have to do is release the lever on this, this thing right here, uh, the attachment, also made by a place, uh, plain cleaning. So let's give it a minute so it can fill up. And this is the other one that I have to do. I have to, to finish up doing this. Uh, one thing that I want to share with y'all, if you are uncomfortable uh, dealing with this, don't do it. Don't do it. Um, oh, it's almost done. You see? Hopefully you guys can see it's already shooting. That means that it's almost full. When you see a constant uh, strain, that is 100% full. So right now, just let it go. You come here. You close it. You see? You close it. All the way. Undo it. And you may hear a little pop. Sometimes it does it. That's just whatever is left in here. Open it. Oop, we're done. Get your Allen wrench. Make sure that you get that. And you're done. Now, it does come with this caps. You can purchase this online. Uh, totally fine. It does have a gasket inside. So if you feel that you need those, by all means, you can put it on. And that's it. Essentially, I bought six because that's what I use. This what I use uh, when I go camping and whatnot, and I and I want to have the Mister Heater with me. You know, just extra uh, security, I guess. Um, do you need it? Completely up to you. Um, depends on your needs. So they do have it. Um, these are six new ones that I just ordered. Um, let's just see how more. 
But yeah, fairly easy. Let me show you again. You remove this. It does have, hopefully you guys can see right there. You use the long part. Whoop. That's open already. Let's close it again. That's open. That's all it takes to open. You put it in here. Make sure that it's aligned. Going, keep going, keep going. But sometimes, you know, it's a little tricky to get it there. You know how it is. So, alright. You screw it to make sure that that Ellen or Allen wrench faces you. That way you can, you know, work good. Um, give it a little bit of a turn. Oop, just a little bit. So the air can, can get out. It should hold it in. And we wait now until um, the gas starts shooting out. If you can open it all the way, you can open it halfway. I like opening it half, all the way, not halfway, just all the way. That way it does it faster. So yeah, I mean, you save quite a bit of money by doing this. Because, I mean, how many times can, can you refill uh, this tank? Well, if you take care of them, you can refill them forever, I guess. Unless you see a leak or something wrong, then you know you have to replace them. But if you can refill them at least, I don't know, 10 times, that is a lot of savings. That's, uh, think about it, each, each of these will cost you, I don't know, $20. And then the ones that you have to throw away will cost you $8. 10 times you refill this, that's eighty dollars that you will have to spend on the other one. Well, or you spend in here with twenty. So yeah, cost savings, big time. Plus you can take all these tanks to Home Depot, Lowe's, even Walmart. And um, I can't remember the price right now, but I guarantee you that it's not that much. So you see, starts to come already. Let go. Raise. We close it. Use the long part, then use the short part, okay? That way you don't get burned. Burn with the cold. Okay, we undo it. Let the whatever is in there escape. I know a lot of people are gonna say, Billy, you're supposed to have gloves and whatnot. Like I said in the beginning, you gotta do what is right for you and I do what is right for me. Make sure that everything is closed. Put the cap back on. And that's it. All right, everybody. So I show you how I do the refills of the one pound propane tanks. It is very straightforward, very easy to do. These things you can find it online. If you want to go into my Amazon storefront and, and look at it and uh, see if you can find it cheaper, you know, by all means, um, I put things in there to provide ideas for everybody. But it is the, out there and you can do it. You know for a fraction of a cost that a one pound container is going to cost you at any retail store and you can refill them indefinitely if you take care of the uh the cylinders so with that being said i hope you have a great one like i was rock on prep on and i will see you in the next one bye bye everybody